Hey, Stukalali from Ukamalam here. Thanks for stopping by. I've made a fingerstyle arrangement for White Christmas for the low G ukulele and the baritone. But you know what? The arrangement I made sounds just as nice on this beautiful little standard tuned ukulele. So I'm going to play this song for you now and then I'm going to talk about the movements that you need to make it fluent. So uh, hang around and let's learn how to play White Christmas. Now, I originally wrote this with people who have never played uh, chord melodies before in mind. I wanted to make it really simple. So I've pretty much put a strum on the first beat of the bar. So we've got C, two, three, four, F, two, three, four, D minor, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The note that your ear hears last and also the highest note in a chord is the one that you're going to pick out of the chord. So for example, if I want this note to stand out, I've got no chance at all if I play that top C. So what I need to do in that case, if I'm chasing this melody note, is stop on that note. There may be occasions where you're after, you know, that note. And because it's the last note that you're hitting, you hear it okay. This is how I've approached these fingerstyle arrangements. I'd like to thank my very special patrons over at patreon.com forward stroke ukumullum, which is where you can go if you would like to grab the song sheet for this lesson. Without these wonderful people, I would not be able to bring you these lessons weekly and I'm very, very appreciative. Thank you so much. I'm also very appreciative of my good friend, Lynn McCarthy, who lets me use her house to record these videos. What a generous and kind spirited woman you are, Lynn. I love you dearly. Thank you so much for all your support over the years. Okay. So let's do that much first, starting with I'm dreaming. So I'm playing the F chord and then taking my finger off so that I can get that note which is an E. So rather than moving my chord shape I'm going to use this finger to come here to play the D note. And then we're in position for the D minor. And then I'll hit the bottom A and then go to two, three, and I'm using fingers two and three. So that line all together, three, four. Four. 
Of course you could you could slide up with one finger. You're also trying to make it so that you don't get uh, any noises from lifting your finger. So uh, the positions that you choose are very key to getting a nice clean sound. One more time. So that was pretty clean. So Mr. Pinky comes into play here. We've got F chord, zero, two, three, and then sliding up. Now, something that might help you for things like this is learning how to play your major scale in many different positions and also keys on the neck. For more detail on the major scale, check out this link which is uh, the C major scale and a whole bunch of different ways that you can practice it. But for now, let me quickly give you an explanation of the C major scale. If we're playing on these bottom strings, we've got C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Or you could say zero, which is the open string. Two, which is fret two. Next string open, one finger one, fret one, three, finger three, fret three, next string open, finger two, fret two, three, finger three, fret three. So if I leave out the strings, just watch my thumb so you can see which string I'm hitting. We're going zero, two, zero, one, three, zero, two, three. Now if we keep that pattern, we could play that anywhere on the neck, but instead of using the nut as the zero, as in the open string, we can use our finger to bar and do that shape and swap our fingers to three and four. Finger three, finger four. So you get this. Now I'm saying the frets still. I'm not talking about my fingers now. Same pattern, zero, two, zero, one, three, zero, two, three. That's a quick lesson on how to play scales up the neck. Now in particular, what we need up here is this run that goes like this. So. I'm barring at the fifth fret and I'm playing the bottom string, which is a part of the F minor scale. So we've got just like the one I used to know. And then we have zero and two. Where the. Now I love this little section where we're having these lovely chords. C, C major 7 to C7, even actually goes to an A minor 7. Instead of playing the notes here, well, we're going to do it on this string. Guess what? They're the same note. So I would recommend using your first finger. I've tried all the other fingers and that seems to be the one that does the job because we're sliding down. So it goes where the tree. So you're doing a triple stop, which means to play three strings and stopping on the bottom string. And then we're actually hitting the, that string. So I've, I've added a little harmony on that line as well. So I added that little note there just to fill the bar. I like the sound of it. And then we do exactly the same. I'm dreaming of a wife. And to make something a little bit different, I've done this 
which is a B7. So you play your B7, and then slide up to the C and drop the third finger. So you end up with that sound. I just thought that would be nice to have something different in the second time through, instead of repeating exactly what you just played. So we have with every Christmas card I write. May your first finger again. Hardest part of the song is going from that G note to this F chord, which has a C on top. So you may need to practice that move quite a few times. May your first finger days seem merry and bright. And may all your Christmases be what I've done here is change key or modulated to D sharp or E flat by playing that scale once again. That same shape we talked about earlier. And then we change key right at the last minute back to C. Just to give a little bit of a spectacular ending. Thanks so much for hanging out with me all the way to the end of the video. Gold star for you. If you can't afford to be my patron, no problem whatsoever, but please do me the favour of giving this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Leave me a comment below and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do that. Of course, if you would like to become a patron, head on over to patreon.com forward stroke Uke Mullen, which is where you can find the tab for this lesson. Thanks so much again and I'll see you in the next one. The swirl in the sun Swirl in the sun And the swirl in the sky Swirl Sky. And the smile on the face. Smile.